my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics in this module 4 we were discussing on development of lateral surface of solids in our previous lecture i solved a problem on square prism moving ahead let us discuss a problem on cube in today's lecture the problem number 2 states that a cube of side 40 mm is resting on hp with its base on hp such that one of its vertical faces is inclined at 30 degree to vp it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP, inclined to VP at an angle of 45 degrees and passing through the midpoint of the axis. Draw the development of lower lateral surface of the cube. First, let us draw the front view and top view of a cube of side 40 m. So, cube is nothing but an hexahedron which we have already solved in development, so which we have already solved a problem on hexahedron in our discussion on solids. So, therefore, cube has six square faces of side 40 mm each and also both front view and top view of a cube will be a square of side 40 mm so let me draw the given front view and top view of the cube first and later let us unfold the surfaces and get the development of the given problem First, let me draw the front view and top view of it. If I move and draw the front view and top view for which I already specified, unless otherwise specified, we will be always using first angle projection. For first angle projection, always vertical plane will be above xy line and horizontal plane will be below xy line. Cube, prism and cylinders will be developed by using parallel line development. Now we have vertical plane and horizontal plane for cube both front view and top view of the cube is square of say 40 mm but he has given a twist here it is based on hp such that one of its vertical faces is inclined at 30 degrees to vp so one of the vertical face should be inclined 30 degrees to vp so therefore i will draw a reference line of 30 degrees to vp first to show this one, that is one of the vertical faces in 30 degrees to VP. But to show that I want a 30 degree line inclined to VP, first I will construct that. So marking 30 degrees to VP, I have taken a line which is inclined at 30 degrees to VP as a reference line because I should show that one of the vertical faces is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to VP of this cube. Now on this 30 degree line, now on this 30 degree line, I will place one side of the cube that is 40 millimeters. To place one side of the cube which is given as 40 millimeters for us. Done. Now complete the square. So that means is no side length is 40 millimeters. Side length is 40 millimeters. So we get a perfect square where one of the vertical faces is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to V. Now I'll take this as corner. A, this is corner B, this is corner C, and this is corner D. That is, we have a hexagon or a cube like this. Does have a cube like this? Let me take the top face as A, B, C, and D. Bottom face as A one. B1, C1, D1. Correct? So this is a cube, hexahedron. Now for this hexahedron, top view is what I am seeing. I can see A, B, C, D, whereas A1, B1, C1, D1 is invisible. Whereas A1, D1, C1, and D1 will be invisible in the top view. In the front view, I can see B, C, 
सी वन बी वन करेक्ट सो ऑब्जर्व बी हियर दैट कैन बी सीन इफ दिस इज इफ टू सर्फेसेस आर पैरल एंड टू सर्फेसेस आर परपेंडिकुलर बट फॉर अस द टॉप सर्फेस इज इंटर एंड एंगल ऑफ थर्टी डिग्रीज सो वन से गेट अ टॉप विद दिस एनफ आई कैन एक्सेप्ट डिफरेंट व्यू नो नीड टू वेरी मच जस्ट टेक द प्रोजेक्शन different view of a cube is also a square of dimension side length is equal to 40 mm correct exactly the front view exactly the front view i want i want to have a square of side 40 mm height is how much 40 mm given So draw height of forty mm. And one more thing is that do I require axis? It is cut by section plane perpendicular to BP, inclined to HP at an angle of forty five degree and passing through the midpoint of the axis. He says. So I want the axis. So get the axis also by connecting opposite corners. Generate diagonals. Intersection of diagonals will give us the center. From the center, I can extract the axis. Correct. So this is the center O O one. This is required because cutting plane is passing on the axis at a distance of twenty mm. Because it bisects that is at the midpoint. So for you, all the vertical faces are parallel or vertical edges are parallel. Dimension is now eighty. So lay it down. Eighty. So axis could be seen because none of the vertical edge is coming in between. So show the axis. Show the axis. Then we have vertical faces. Now you connect. So if you connect. We get more than forty mm because it is inclined at an angle of thirty degrees. Now marking observer is here, so observer can see A A one, B B one, C C one, and D D one is also unintermediate from any of the edges. So mark it as A one dash, A dash. Here I get. B1 dash, B dash, here I get O1 dash, O dash, here I get D1 dash, D dash, here I get C1 dash, C dash. Done. So this is the top view and front view of the given cube of dimension 40 mm say. This is a square of 40. And height is also forty because it is a cube. So now to insert the cutting plane, I want to mark the midpoint of the axis. So mark the midpoint of the axis also, and take indicate the midpoint of the axis, which is necessary to lay down the cutting plane. This height for a cube is also forty, and. Mid point will be at a distance of twenty. All dimensions are in mm. Now at the mid point, to the HP, the cutting plane is inclined at an angle of forty-five degrees. He says. So next, using protractor, draw forty-five degree line. Draw forty-five degree line. Mark. Now draw that forty-five degree line passing through the midpoint. So if I draw forty-five degree line passing through the midpoint, I will cut it like this. I will cut it like this, and I will call this as the 
cutting plane. This is the cutting plane we have passing with the loop pad and making an angle of 45 degrees to HP. So this is C dash. So you use different chops that will be helpful. Here use different chop. Done. Now before unfolding it, let me mark the points 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now coming for the vertical edge A1 dash A dash, it is unintervened, leave it. Now check the horizontal A to B. So A to B is A1 dash B1 dash, yes, it is cut by the cutting plane. Take it as point 1. As I already explained in our previous lecture, if the cutting plane is cutting the horizontal lines, then it should be measured from the top view. If it is cutting the vertical lines, then no need to worry, just we can take the projection in case of parallel line method. So this, is a, this can also be developed by using parallel line method because the vertical faces or vertical edges are parallel to axis. So since it is cutting shorter edge AB horizontally, I should measure it from the top view. So therefore, take the projection to AB, A to B. If I take the projection to A to B, and measure this length and measure this length so if I measure I am getting it as 14.7 I am getting it as 14.7 14.7 This is our point 1. Then next move for longer is B. B1 dash to B dash. Yes, it is cutting here. Mark this as point 2. So this will be 2 dash. Since it is cutting only vertical, no need to worry, just I can take the projection. Leave it. Check for the shorter edges B to C. So B to C B to C is here. It is unintervened. Check at the top also. B to C is here. Yes, it is cutting. B to C is cutting here. So mark this as point 3. You should check for vertical longer edge and also horizontal shorter edge. For in case of preserve, few or fingers. Here I am checking for A. I should check for longer edge A1 dash, A dash and the shorter sides that is bottom and top A to B, A to B. Then move for B. Check for vertical B1 dash to B dash and check for bottom and top horizontal sides that is B to C, B to C. At bottom it is B1 dash to C1 dash, it is unintervened, whereas the top it is B dash to C dash, it is cut here, hence call it as point 3 and find it find out, locate that point by dropping vertical to the top view. This we already discussed in our previous lecture that if the cutting plane is cutting in the Horizontal line then should be measured from the top view. Done. And this will become B to C. So this will become point 3. Point 3. So if I measure, we we'll get this length as 8.5. Getting this length as 8.5 mm. Done. Next I should go for B, then C. Now going for C, C1 dash to C dash, is, it is unintervened, leave it. Next from C, I should check for C to D. At bottom it is C1 dash to D1 dash, no need to worry. At top it is C dash to D dash, if I check here, it is cutting here. So hence this is, should be called as 4 dash. That 4 dash should be measured at the bottom from C to D. So this will be 4. This will be 4 for us, Point 0.4, so measure this distance, this is also necessary. So if I measure, I will get this as 0.4.
So this point one. So we are done with C. Let's go for D. So if I check for D, D1 dash to D dash is intersecting here. So let's call this as phi dash and check for shorter edges D to A. It is unintermediate at the bottom. D to A is it is cut down here. And let's call this as 6 dash. Call this as 6 dash. So D to A, so this will become 6 dash. Become 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and if you measure this length, so measure this length, this length will be measuring. vertical face, vertical corner or vertical edge and unfold it. So since it is a cube, if I cut from A and unfold, I will get 4 vertical faces offside 40 mm image. 4 into 4 will be 16. So if I unfold this cube, so unfold this cube, So from here, I get 1, 2, 3, so this will be 4. So we know the height, height is also 40 mm, take the projection. Finish it off by laying down the vertical edges A, B, C, D. As I said, this is neither front view nor top view. This is just unfolding, developing of an object. So each side is measuring 40 mm. So 4 into 4 will be 16. So overall length will be 160, right? 4 plus 16, 160. I will call this as A1, A, this as B1, B, this as C1, C, this as D1, D, and closing side as A1, A again. Now coming for point 1, one should be measured from here, it is 14.7 millimeters from A, so mark 14.7 millimeters from A. So this will be 1 and this distance is known, this distance is how much? 14.7. Next move for 2, 2 is in the vertical, no need to worry, just take projection. So just take projection from point 2 and transfer it to vertical edge B and transfer it to vertical edge B and mark it as 2. Done. Next move for 3. 3 is on the horizontal that is at the top from C it is a distance of 8.5. So from C it is a distance of 8.5. So mark at a distance of 8.5 from C towards B and mark it as 0.3. So this is at a distance of 8.5. This is point 0.3. Done. 
Next coming for 4, 4 is at a distance of 14.1 from C towards D. So towards D, measure 14.1. 14.1 So if I mark I'll get it as 14.1 Done That is point 0.4 Point 0.4 Next point 0.5 is on the vertical No need to worry Just draw the parallel line Like this you draw parallel line to D. So this will be 5. Now 6 is here. So this is 6. 6 at the distance of 8.5 from A. So that is at the bottom. 8.5 at the bottom. So this length is 8.5. This is 6. Now we connect all these points that will use as the development. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 and then 6 to 1 and then 6 to 1, 6 to 1. And also, we have sharp vertical lengths, vertical edges. Right. So this will give us the development of given problem. That is the plane figure obtained by developing of the cube given in the problem is nothing but the development. So this is the development. I should lay down this on a sheet metal and cut it properly by bending and folding and finally by joining point 1 to point 6 directly by using welding, soldering or brazing I can get the object which looks in the front view like this so in the front view if I do development and join by using welding, soldering or brazing the front view of the developed solid cube with the cutting plane bisecting the axis at an bisecting the axis at an angle of 45 degrees inclined to horizontal will be like this. So this is the front view which will look look like this if I bend at the proper points and connect point one to point six. So this completes the solution of problem number 2. That's all from this lecture. Thank you all.